Good, good morning, everyone. Sorry for the delay. I'm having some um, technical difficulties. I was trying to get you guys on my um, laptop here. As you can see, I've got some visitors today with us. This is Mel. This is Celeste, my sister. Okay, so. This is my mommy. Good. This is Tiffany. You know her. Her real name is. Okay. Sh remember. So, as you can see, I have got some helpers today and I need you girls to sit down sit off of me please and sit down okay so we are gonna do some fun games today uh, just something to get you guys moving I am sure that you have been going a little crazy inside I know with the rain and all that stuff it can make it pretty difficult to do some fun things with your little ones and don't mind me I am trying to get this up on my computer so that you can see us a little bit more but we're just gonna go ahead and just do it like this so bear with me and good morning good morning everyone so I posted a picture with a couple of um, a couple of materials that you needed to set up an obstacle course for a little bit later um, Celeste and Amel please sit down quietly because they can't hear okay so a couple of uh, materials for you to set up for an obstacle course I have that set up right now <laughs> And um, you can do that a little bit later. All right, so just trying to get my music. Miss Alexa's there, Miss Andrea. Austin and Dustin say hello. Good morning, Miss Erica, Miss Megan. Okay, so we always like to get our mornings, our gross motor activities and our games and our class, we do a warm up. And so today we're going to start off with a nice little warm up to the song I like to move it, move it. It's a super fun one. Get your bodies pumping, get your bodies moving. So I'm going to try to put my phone down so that you can see me. Again, I apologize. I had my laptop out, but did not want to go live for whatever reason. So uh, just bear with me here as I try to set my phone up so that you guys can see me. Okay. And um, we're doing it outside. It, this is great because you can do this inside. We don't have a lot of space in our house, so we came outside. Uh, but if you are going to do it inside, make sure that you kind of move some of your furniture out of the way, just enough so that your little ones can run around. Now, kiddos, do you remember when you do gym class with Miss Tiff, what my first rule is? Anybody remember? What is me, the first me, rule? Me, me. What is it, Amel? To be... <gasps> to be safe, right? And don't so, spit, don't um, don't push, and and right, and don't kick in their tummy or eyeballs. That's correct. So we're gonna keep our hands on our own bodies, right? So all you siblings out there, hands to yourselves. Okay. So hi Emily, hi girls, uh, hi Gracie, hi AJ. So we're gonna keep our hands to ourselves. Our second rule is to be good listeners. So I need everybody to listen. Okay, listen to mom and dad. And now the things that you might be doing today in your living room, you can only do when it's time to do exercises. You can't just jump off the couches and do all that stuff without asking mom and dad because you have to be safe. We want to keep you safe, okay, and healthy and strong. So be safe, be good listeners, and have fun which I think we are going to do today. All right, hey, Colton Quinn, hi, guys. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a warm up to I like to move it, move it. And when you hear the music stop, um, you have to freeze. So I don't know how much you're gonna be able to hear. I hope it's gonna be loud enough for you. I'm gonna turn up as loud as my computer. I had speakers, but since my phone won't connect, um, wasn't let me do it so let's see where I can set you guys up I think let's see all right let's see if you can see us back up Celeste back up all right hi can you see me I can't see your comments so just bear with us all right <laughs> okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna start out with a walk now it's super important that when we walk somewhere we all make sure we go in the same direction so parents if you're practicing this at home i always like to do a practice run of which direction we go so girls which direction are we going to walk so let's start off so everybody right now in your living rooms get on up get ready to move and we're going to start walking in a circle just walk you can walk any kind of way you want so my girls let's walk so we're all going to walk in the same direction okay we all Gonna keep going. Now, should I turn around and go this way? Oh, uh-oh. 
No, you could bang into your mom or dad or sister, or right? Friend, or, or your friends. Or your brother. Right. So we don't want to do that. So we're or all going to walk mother. in the same direction. Okay, did we get that down? Awesome. All right, you ready to move it? I'm ready to move it. I hope that my music works. Let's try it. Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh, we're going to skip that. I love it. Move it, move it. Yep. Okay. Can you hear it? I think you can hear it, right? Okay, let's start walking, everybody. Let's start walking. Come on, let's start walking, girls. Turn it up. Turn it up. Go ahead. Start walking. I'm going to turn it up. You guys keep walking. Just walk, my friends. Walk, walk, walk. Keep walking. All right. Up. Oh, did you hear the music get faster? I want you to start running. All right, now, everybody, did you freeze? Perfect, okay. So now, I want you to put your feet together. Can you see me? I'm gonna glue my feet together. Good job, Celeste. Let me see, Mel, where are you? All right, nice. Now, for our little ones, our maybe non-walkers are just starting to walk, this is how we're gonna help them jump. So Mel's gonna be my baby. Come here, little baby. <laughs> I'm gonna take her, let me move back so you can see. Now, I'm gonna go down on my knees because I don't wanna hurt my back. Go down, I'm gonna hold her on the upper body. We're gonna lift up and jump up and down. And that's how we're gonna do it with our little ones. You can, can have you them face me? out way, no. Aww. Or face in and have a nice bonding experience as you jump, okay? So my big girls, and are you at home? Are you ready to jump? Now if you want to, if you're feeling crazy, let's do a big frog jump. Ready? Let's jump, jump everybody, jump, jump, jump. jump. try a gallop and all that is is a step slide step slide step slide for your little ones to assist them with this again might hurt your back bending over you might want to go down on your knees you're gonna grab their legs and say the words too right because we're all different types of learners <laughs> we might be um, auditory where we need to listen okay uh, we might need to see it, that's how I am, and we might need to hear it, so we're going to do all those. We're going to step and slide. See, I'm just taking one side of her leg by her ankle, moving it, and usually the other foot will follow. Step, slide. All right, you ready to gallop? And if you got a cowboy hat or cowgirl hat, go ahead and put it on. Get on your yeah, horse. Yeah! And let's get ready to gallop. Let's go! Come Okay, now. No, I don't need to. We're gonna do bear walks. So we're gonna try bear walks. Amel, come on, can you do bear walks with me? You ready? Put your hand number, no crying. Put your hands down. Look at Celeste is doing a bear walk there. So high knees in the air, hands and feet on the ground, and let's roar. I'm gonna hear a roar. Can I hear it? Roar! Play. <laughs> okay, let's go. Dancing, huh? 
right, and freeze. Okay, everybody. That was awesome. Everybody, take a deep breath in your nose. We're gonna slow our bodies down. And deep breth in. Bring it, it's last. Deep breath in. Pretend you're a tree. And these are my tree branches. You're gonna move your tree, you're gonna move your leaves. Slow down your breathing. Good job. All right, everybody, you sweating? You feel your heart's moving? Now, now's a good time to go take a sip of water. My helpers, can you go take a sip of water? Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, just a little activity. If you got any of the materials that I um, showed you earlier, or just some construction paper, don't mind me being out of breath. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna use, I got different colors. No, because I thought the um, great way for color recognition, especially for our little, little ones. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. Slash, you can, can you put them, um, put them down? So Slash is just gonna go ahead and put them down. Mommy. Yes, I'm out. Do you wanna go upstairs with daddy? Okay, so we're gonna put them. I'm gonna help you out, Celeste. We're gonna move a little bit faster. We're gonna put them down, Mommy, just like this. I, want you to do this. I can do that later. Mommy's how you feeling out there? Daddy's how you feeling? I know it's a little crazy in my house right now. So we're gonna set this up. Okay, Celeste is setting them up just in a line. Okay, and you don't have to use colored paper. You can use white paper. Celeste, let her do the last one, and we can um, encourage our little ones to do this and help us along. It's always great to get them involved. So now for this one, uh, hold on, so let's start back here. We're gonna start all the way at the end. Wait a minute. Amel, can you get behind your sister, please? No crying. I'm go in front. Yeah, can you let her go in front, please? Yeah. Thank okay. you. All right, so stay there. Hold on. So my helpers, Amel, I need to see a big smile for your friends. Oh, so Amel is gonna jump over. Make sure you use the words. We're gonna go over the colors. Over? And if you jump on them, it's okay. All right, so we ready? So my friends at home, are you set up? Okay, let me say, oh, you can jump on them, but Amel, I want you to jump over them first. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump over the color. So go for it, Amelie Bell. Go ahead. Or you can do this. We can do that, but right now, Amel, I wanna see you jumping over them. Not on them, jump over, we gotta listen. All right, yes, yes, whoa, whoa, nice job. All right, here's another option. Ooh, fast feet, fast feet. So there's lots of different options. Go ahead, Amel, show us another way we can do it. Oh, you can do one foot. You hop with one foot. One foot's really hard. Or you could do just like this. Okay, so moms and dads, this is just an activity that we can jump over. Um, jump on top, go ahead, Celeste. Jump on top of the paper. And again, you know, just have fun with it. If you're doing this in your house, set it up all throughout your house. Make it go up the steps. Mom, have them go into mommy, their bedrooms mommy. and come down. Excuse me, wait. Have them go down into their bedrooms in the kitchen. Now keep in mind, if it's if the paper isn't on carpet, it might be a little bit slippery. So just keep that in mind as you uh, do set it up. And if they have socks on, take those socks off. We want to get those little foot muscles gripping the ground, okay? So just a quick, easy one. You can do this anywhere, outside inside, anywhere you like. All right, now, girls. Oh, you can do this. Oh, there's a great one, right? Working those this. core muscles. Oh, you can do this. So now it's obstacle course time. Okay, my girls, let's go over to the colors. Celeste, I want you on green, Amel on red. So we set up a little obstacle course outside first. Sorry. Yes, that's okay, hold on, go on the red. So we put green down, because what does green mean? It means go. Nope, you're going to go second. But red, what does red mean, Amel? Does it mean go or stop? Look how still she is. So that's what you got to do, friends. Stay nice and still. Now, remember, we only want to go one at a time. Parents, it's your choice. If maybe once they get to the third thing, you can tell your other little one to go. Um, if it's just them at home, have them do it a bunch of times. So I just use stuff that I had at home. Um, a towel. This is just a towel that I folded up, and we're going to use that as a balance beam. So... Pretty sure we all got some of these. We can jump over them. Um, since I'm outside, I had my bench. So they're gonna go over it. You can go on top of it, um, under it. They can army crawl. They can lay on their backs and crawl under it, on their bellies. 
And then here, these are just some old dish towels that I have. And they can do hopscotch. They can just jump, jump, jump from one to the next. And again, use what you got. I got some toilet paper. So they can just jump right over the toilet paper. And then I always like to have them follow a direction. Again, have them practice which way that they go. Give them a way to start in the beginning. Because otherwise what's gonna happen is they're gonna turn right back around, start heading that way, and maybe bump. So I took a towel, and I'm sorry, I'm trying not to spin too much here. And we're gonna just follow the towel. And then I use my oranges, right? Healthy foods. I'm gonna jump over, over again, keeping my two feet together. And we're gonna follow the trail of oranges all the way. And then this is where we start. So this way it gives them a direction to go and they're not gonna bump heads. And they're gonna need some encouragement with this. All right, girls, are you ready, Celeste? All right, so Celeste is gonna show us how we do this. Okay, go for it. So she's balancing. She's gonna jump over that. Now, which way are you gonna go? Over? All right, Amel, you can start. See, there's lots of space. Go ahead, Amel. Doing our hopscotch. Go for it, girls. And then two feet together, jump over the oranges. Nice. Very good, keep going. And you guys can, moms and dads, do this a bunch of times. You can change it up. Mel's gonna practice her cartwheel. Whoa, now go under it, Mel. Show them how you go under the, the bench. Oh, we can go under it, crawling under things. Or, or you can do this on the- Yep, you can do this. Go for it. So there are so many different ways that we can do this, make this fun. Again, if you're stuck inside, you can do all this inside. Right? Move the, move the chairs from your dining room table. Have them crawl under it. Go underneath the chairs. Do this entire obstacle course through your whole house. There are so many things that they can do, uh, that you can do in your house. Take those seat cushions off. Have them uh, couch cushions. Jump from cushion to cushion again. Up, oh, you okay there, Melly Bell? You okay? Sometimes we fall, right? Thank you, sister, for helping. And we just get back up again. Just remember that when you fall, you get back up again and try your best. Now, something else that I thought we could do that would be super fun. Hey, girls, can you take your shoes and socks off? Yeah. They're going to take their shoes and socks off for this one. This is kind of fun. So let me kind of bring it over here. What a beautiful day. So get outside if you can today. And don't forget, um, Miss Linda will be on in a little bit and to do something fun with you guys. So all I did was we had some sleds that we did not use this year. We're gonna use them now. Can I do it? Yep, hold on. So we have set up here, um, we just brought a chair, just, you know, a bucket with some water and I happen to have these balls. Uh, you could use oranges. What yes. Happened? You're gonna get a turn, it's okay. And Celeste is gonna try to use her feet to grab the balls and put them on either side of her. It's a little cold. <laughs> She's gonna try to grab them and you can move them closer. Oh, now look at all those tummy muscles that we use. And foot muscles, hand-eye coordination. Okay, and there you go. Help each other. Help each other, that's right. We're all family. Our GSA family, we love you. So there you go, okay. Beautiful, now let Mel have a turn. So make sure that you take turns and have fun with it. Um, you can do this inside, do it in your kitchen, put a towel underneath, um, fill it up with a whole bunch of you know, small balls, make them. You could have ones that maybe sink, um, that'd be maybe even more challenging. Wow. Remember, if they're heavy, is it cold? Hey. Yeah, <laughs> Mel's trying it out. You might wanna do warm water. Didn't think about that, they'll be fine. So um, that's another fun game. Now, something we're gonna end with parents is a little red light, green light, which again, you can play anywhere. Now, we like to play this in our house sometimes um, throughout the house. Like they don't start in front of me. They start maybe in my bedroom or in their bedroom. And then I just yell, red light, green light, and they keep come charging in. Now for our little ones, you know, we might wanna go ahead and just have them do it with you in the living room um, or outside. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my paper that I use for my obstacle course, it's a little wet, but so what? I want a visual for our kiddos too. And again, for our bigger ones, like Colin and Quinn, you guys can probably start way, you can probably start in the and backyard. And mom and dad can just yell red, green. You can throw in some yellow. They can learn to go slow. Or they can 
one blitz. So I need my girls to go down there, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna say green light, right? Because for our auditory learners, the ones that need to hear it, they need to hear our words, and for our visuals, they need to see it, right? Okay, we're gonna skip yellow, but thank you. All right, so lesson them out. Are you guys ready? All right, my friends out there, are you ready? That's okay, you don't need shoes, don't worry. All right, friends at home, are you ready? Okay, make sure there's lots of space. No shoes or socks on if you're inside. We want you gripping those floors. Okay, are you feeling fast? I'm feeling fast. Okay, here we go, you ready? Green light, green light. Uh-oh, now we need to go to red light. Come and run to mommy, run to mom. Run, green light, red light, green light, red light. Okay, you guys get it. It's pretty simple, right? Just show them red light, green light. Red light, friends. Red light again. Uh-oh, green light, red light. Good job. So, parents, I hope you enjoyed. Just super easy. Um, not too many things to have to do, but just make it fun for your kiddos. Get moving outside. Use what you have. Towels are great. You can make circles. They can jump in and out of. You can make them big. They can cross over them horizontally or vertically. So many different ways to do it. Use what you have. Get creative. Think outside the box and have some fun. I hope you had fun with us today and have fun with my special guests. Um, we're going to probably keep doing this for a couple hours now. Um, and let them create it. Have your kids set up the obstacle course. Tell them, I want it's your turn now to do this. Now you guys switch it or give them something else. You know, give them two pillows and a towel and say, go make something cool with this and see what we have to do. Tell us what to do. So make it a fun activity. Anyway, thank you so much. Don't forget, catch Linda at 11 o'clock for something fun. And um, we hope that you enjoyed this. Get, get out there, be healthy. Now go have a good, healthy snack and make sure you drink lots of water. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye.